We can all see that there's a crisis in London thanks to inequality, filthy air and a broken housing system. But in spite of that, people all around us are refusing to sit quietly, they're standing up and starting some really hopeful and inspiring campaigns. Housing activists like Focus E15 and the Aylesbury Estate have refused to let their communities be broken up. Social campaigners like trade unions and London citizens are standing up to councils and private companies and demanding a living wage for workers. Anti-racist activists are standing up against the Met's Stop and Search programme and transport campaigners like London Cycling Campaign are winning ambitious new space for cycling. I think that next year's election needs to be about bringing the energy of all these campaigns and more into City Hall and letting Londoners help sort out our city. I've run for mayor before for the Green Party in 2008. We started in seventh place and I took us up to fourth, winning endorsements from the Independent and Observer along the way. When I did this, we had around a thousand Green Party members in London and we now have the collective talents of more than 10,000 members. I know that our new surge means we can give Londoners the big, creative and inspiring campaign the city desperately needs. To find out more about me, please sign up at my website. Internal candidates don't have access to party lists, so you need to tell me you want to hear from me in order for me to get in touch. Even better, volunteer to help the campaign in your local area. Working from the grassroots means getting out and visiting as many campaigns and communities as we possibly can, in the same way as the Green campaign needs to continue once we choose our candidate. So go to shamberry.london now and get started with me today.